LEAP means a loop electrosurgical excision procedure. It's a way of treating abnormal cells on the cervix after an abnormal pap smear has been evaluated. The process for a LEAP procedure is very similar to a pap smear. Again, we're in the same office that we are for a pap, but just a different room, our procedure room. And I again have the colposcope, which is the microscope to be able to look through to evaluate the cervix and identify exactly where the abnormal cells are. Prior to doing the LEAP procedure, we'll give lidocaine or numbing medication to prevent any pain during the procedure. The procedure itself is usually quite quick. Um, I tell patients it's kind of an in over out and that's the whole specimen. And the loop is literally a small wire loop through which electricity goes in order to allow cutting and prevention of bleeding at the same time. We have multiple different sizes of that loop so that we can tailor it to the size and shape of the cervix, but there are situations in which one needs to tailor the procedure even more to the specific size and shape of the abnormal cells or the cervix, in which case one can do what's called a cold knife conization. That's a procedure that is done in the operating room. The patient is asleep instead of having just the local anesthetic. And the cold knife part is because a scalpel is used, not electricity. And so with the scalpel, I can get very precise and do any size or shape of excision or removal of the abnormal cells. So a LEAP procedure can be used um, really in two basic circumstances. One is if we followed up abnormal cells that are mild and they are persistent, so they've been there for at least two years and haven't resolved, because actually most mildly abnormal cells will go away on their own about two-thirds of the time. But if they're persistent, then we know over once they've lasted those two years, they're unlikely to go away, so then we can treat them to prevent them from having the opportunity to become worse and eventually become cancer. That's one circumstance in which we might use it. Another situation is if initially we see that it's moderate or severe, then we know those cells are less likely to go away, more likely to persist or worsen, and so then that's, it's appropriate to treat them um, right up front. Outcomes are excellent. Most of the time the cells are removed and they do not recur, but we always follow up with ongoing surveillance with pap smears and HPV testing. I would say the LEAP procedure is favored over cryotherapy because it has a broader range of situations in which it's appropriate. So it can be used in mild, moderate, and severe disease, uh, where the cryotherapy or freezing would be preferred in the mild disease only. And the LEAP procedure allows us to have a sample of the tissue to send to the lab to evaluate exactly what was there so we know exactly what we treated unlike the cryotherapy, which destroys the abnormal cells but doesn't allow us to have anything to evaluate to make sure we know what we were destroying.